Any good news, Darren? The results came back from the lab. And you're good to go. Oh, you're not Darren. Please excuse me. Maria, we got a fire in room three. Patient is smoking hot. Gummy like, shee! Anyway, what happened to Darren? He left. Well, it would be nice to know when one of my patients is discharged. But anyway. Looks like I've got my hands full with this new sexy patient. I'm a lucky man, aren't I? What do you mean no Dr. Silver's patient? <laughs> Find us keepers. You snooze, you lose. I don't care. Tell him the patient you need to speak to a doctor he sat. And I was the closest. Thanks, Maria. You're the best. Hi. Me again. I'm Dr. Green. Your doctor for the day. Oh, don't you worry about Dr. Silver. You don't need a senile old man taking care of you, do you? Not when you got this strong young man with a heart of gold right in front of you. Am I right? Mmm, there we go. So, what brings you here today? Let me guess. Your heart. As in you have a fever. Yeah, I totally meant that. So you're feeling a bit under the weather. Oh, you poor thing. But the good news is that it brought you to me. As in it brought you to the best doctor in the hospital. I think I'm going to have to check up on you. First, let me just wash my hands. Don't want any cross-contamination, do we? There, nice and clean. Now I'm just going to put my hand on your forehead. Oh, sweetie, you're burning up. Well, yeah, we do have thermometers. But they're not working, since I took the batteries out. Oh, nothing. Now, let me just put my hands on the sides of your face. Don't you worry. This is totally something doctors do. A more effective way of assessing fever. Oh, you're so cute with your cheeks pressed up against the palm of my hands. Well, I'm sure you know what's next. A standard observation of all your vital signs. Oh, I'm afraid so. We wouldn't want you to be discharged without a thorough examination, would we? We wouldn't want to miss anything problematic. I like you. I mean, you're a good patient. I like all my good patients. Especially the cute ones. Now, stay as you are, laying back on the bed. I'm just going to assess your pulse. I will be using two fingers to press into your wrist. Ah, yes. A nice, strong pulse. Hmm. Let's move over to your eyes. They say that eyes are windows to one's soul. And honestly, that isn't far from the truth. They are the window to one's health. 
Can you roll your lower eyelids down and look up? Very good. The inside of your eyelids are a healthy pink colour. Means you're not anemic. Well, not severely, at least. I would have to look at your blood test to know for sure. And your sclera is white. Shows you don't have any blood or liver problems. And your iris. Stunning. Mmm, what an astonishing colour. You smell good. Very good. And I appreciate that in a patient. When I have to get so close. Do you like my cologne? Hmm. Now let's bring out my stethoscope. Arguably the most important part of a physical examination. Checking the health of your heart and lungs. Maria, I'm clearly right in the middle of a very important examination. Do I have to pin up a do not disturb sign? <laughs> I'm kidding. Thanks, Maria. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. So, I'm not sure if you've ever had this done before. But I'm going to be using this flexible device to listen to your lungs and heart. I'm going to press this end against your chest. Is that okay? No, you don't need to take any clothes off. I know what I'm doing. I can slide it underneath. You okay to sit up? Any fluid in your lungs will fall to the bottom, which is easier for me to detect. I know it's cold, I'm sorry. You nice, healthy heart. Do you work out? You look like you do. And your heart rate's gone a bit faster. Is that the effect I have on you? <laughs> I hope so. Now, let's have a listen to your lungs. Take nice deep breaths. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. Now your other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. And out. So far, so good. Now lean forward. I'm going to have a listen to your back. Cross your arms. It will take your shoulder blades out of the way. And once again, breathe in. And out. Go the other side. In. And out. <sighs> okay. I have found something. I can hear crackles at the base of your lungs. I will explain. Because of how your lungs are shaped, the best place to hear the base of your lungs is on your back. I can hear some crackles. What this means is that when you sat up, any fluid in your lungs fell to the bottom, which I heard as crackles. Now don't worry about this. You're not having any problems with your breathing or circulation. So it's very minor. We could offer you a chest x-ray. But I don't think it's needed. I got a very clear picture just from listening. 
Remind me, how long have you had your fever for? So this is your second day. Good. We tend to not worry unless it's been going on for five days. Hmm. Based on everything, especially that we invented the colder seasons, you have caught a respiratory virus. Could be COVID, could be flu, or something else. I can give you something for the fever, but I won't give you any antivirals. Your body will fight it off. And your lungs will reabsorb the fluid in a few days. Just get back to us if it persists after five days, or gets worse. Then we can think about starting you on antivirals. I know, it's not easy getting hold of a doctor, is it? But I may have a solution. How would you feel about me pushing my professional boundaries a little? You know, by doing something a little risque. If I gave you my number, you can contact me directly. And my professional knowledge isn't limited to standard observations. As I said, I'm an excellent doctor. I know all about human anatomy. Nerve endings. Oh, and it goes without saying. I am very good with my hands and tongue, you know, just to throw that in. <laughs> so, how does that sound? Good, but you're not going to tell anyone, are you? As I said, you're a very good patient. By far my favorite. My number is on this piece of paper. Oops, I dropped it on your lap. I'm going to go now. Don't call that number. You won't break our doctor-patient relationship. <laughs> the nurse is going to get sus if I stay in here any longer. Well, call me. Hopefully I can see you again soon. <laughs>